Chapter 4 Hearing the Voice of God The voice of God is everywhere. It is the truth in all things. Fellowship, love, justice, life. You can hear it as simply as appreciating any one of these. The voice of God is also heard in the spirit where God is with us sometimes loud and clear, sometimes quiet or not at all. In all of these it takes time to hear God, patience, faith, and a practiced ear. We hear with our heart. We hear with our spirit. We even hear with our whole body. God is always talking, even without words saying things in the spirit of his power and his person. Life. The voice of God is woven throughout everything. His voice is faithful and just, and his person is true. He is the answer to our questions. Scripture is the voice of God. Prophecy, his promised word. God is not the voice of fact. He is the essence of what is truth and the nature of what is true. Promise The voice of God has made many promises. In faith we stand on these promises and we continually strive, counting these promises as true. If we look to the promises of God with equal humility and faith, how can it be a religion or a sect or a denomination that we follow? It is not. We all stand on equal ground, all of us waiting, even knowing that we will likely go to the grave without seeing the fulfillment of God's greatest promises in our lifetime. This is required of us all, that we wait in peace and faithfully knowing that the promise in the Word of God will be accomplished. The Word of God is our story. It is our inheritance, the record of all that is Christ, and all that is ours in Christ. Everything is being given to us. This world is a sliver of time, a temporary tent, here only till that day and hear that man must choose his nature and his way, and if they hear the gospel, the chance to be converted. Everything is being given to us, not the will of God. The voice of God is all around us every day, and it is hard not to hear it. But hearing the voice of God and understanding what it is saying over our own lives is grievous and confusing if our motivations are selfish or not in line with God's will. The light of God is brighter as we turn toward it, and is brightest when we're facing it. The same is true of the voice of God and God's will. The more we're in line with the will of God, the clearer His voice in our life. And the more tuned in we are, the bigger the picture we'll have. But that doesn't mean we're to go at things alone. We're all called, and many times we share the field together. Remember, God chose us. We did not choose God. Predestined. Choice is not predestined, and we may choose freely, but the promise of God stands, and on it no one has a choice. There is and will be a kingdom of God, if we choose to be part of it or not. There is and will be an eternity of life spent in peace, love, and joy. There is and will be Christ over all existence. And there is God always, and Christ is His, and Christ will judge the nations. These things cannot be stopped. They are predestined. Man cannot change them. Man may only choose if he or she will be part of them, whether our lives in the hands of choice will join the promises of God. Everything is ours. As Christians, everything God promises is ours, 
even the judgment of our enemies, as justice belongs to us. All these things belong to us, hope, blessing, peace, love, justice, truth, the kingdom of God, Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God. Slow down. We put too much emphasis on action and doing that we forget to listen to, to have patience, to slow down and hear. The voice of God is infinite, the finite, the truth of all things. We can hear God in everything. He's the truth of it. Hear the voice of God. It is not an audible voice. It's an impression. A sense that truth is speaking, like feeling a painting speaking words of inspiration, or a dramatic and graphic photo whose impression calls for justice. The voice of God calls to us. Every inspiration and impression feel like words spoken, like music, like hands gliding through the air or gently cutting through water. It is paralyzing with need to listen. All around us God has spoken. All throughout us God has spoken. In the truth of things, His voice is heard. In the molecules, in the cells, in the atoms, in the promise, good or bad, the question of evil. God made all things. Evil He did not make. Evil is a choice and it comes from selfishness, contempt, and rebellion against God. The voice of God is not spoken in evil actions, but against them, promising that Christ will repay evil, as Christ is the accomplishment of all things, and is the Lord's justice and truth's justification. Evil has gotten away with nothing, nor is it serving time in prison for its crime. If true evil has been done, those who have done the evil cannot pay for the wrong done with time, but will face Christ and have the truth justified. If they obtain forgiveness from God, then grace shall be with them. If not, Christ awaits.